Good morning, good morning from London to my fellow Sierra Leoneans back home and across the world. This na Dr. Sylvia Olainka Blyden and today is Wednesday, June 8, 2022. This na mi 73rd audio in the ongoing broadcast to the people of Sierra Leone. We go column audio number 073. And today, this broadcast mean for don't come out yesterday. Because I mean, for me to the, see now yesterday at the Pulam. But just as I they settled down yesterday night for do the broadcast, I get very, very disturbing information from back home and i don't spend practically the whole night the monitor the very disturbing developments where they happen back home to be specific inside tonkolili district in a constituency known as constituency number 056 it's very disturbing the amount of blood we don't shed overnight the amount of damage to properties, the amount of pains and anguish, the amount of suffering we don't happen overnight to women and children inside a specific part of constituency 56 in Tonkolili district, where we they call Sambaya. First of all, before I go further, I want to now understand something about parliament. Because waiting they cause this bloodshed, waiting they cause this disaster, waiting they make we woman them today, this morning, they then a bush. Waiting they make we picking them this morning, they don't scared, they don't terrorize them, they are confused. That because somebody wants for occupy one grain seat in the parliament. So before I go into the issue where they happen right now as I talk to her, I don't do up the whole night at the monitor, I receive phone calls, I talk to different people Them, I am so, so, so disheartened that at a time like this, we can resort to civil war because of a simple elections. I am so disheartened that today women and children are in the bush they are in the bush, hiding out of fear. They are scared that today, then they burn house overnight. So this morning, they don't burn us. They don't choke people them. If you see blood, the pictures that I have seen, the videos that I have seen, because there is one vacant seat in parliament. So people them for suffer for sake of that. So before I go into waiting happen, waiting at the cause of waiting happen, I need for explain to owner something about parliament. I can do the educative audios there, yeah? Because I try for make sure Elenians they understand issues. And they try for make sure Elenians they understand where we are as a nation and how can we overcome where we are as a nation who say we not want for the we don't want for the Usai. What, what happened last night up to this morning? Na Sambaya, na Bendugo, na Tonkolili district. We don't want it. So let me first of all explain to us something about parliament, okay? According to the laws of Sierra Leone, for pass any law na parliament, for enact any bill na parliament, other than certain critical bills them, for example, a bill we get for do with changing of the constitution. But most other bills, most other laws where parliament they pass, they only need 50% of the number of members of parliament we sit in a well quoted parliament. In other words, a parliament we get the correct quorum for that day. They only need 50% plus 
plus one of the members of parliament were present for vote, then the law they pass. They don't need more than 50% of whosoever under the number were present. So in a situation where everybody where they elect the parliament, all men attend parliament that they did, when then they vote, they need 50% of the elected members of parliament plus one, just one more member of parliament for support the bill and then the bill, they become law. Make a talk and back. For pass any law in Sierra Leone, apart from a few critical law them, like the, if you want to change the constitution, but the vast majority of laws them for pass them in Sierra Leone, you only need 50% of the elected members of parliament plus one more member of parliament for join that 50% day. And then you be able to pass the law. Now, how many members of parliament we get right now, Nasser Leon? The answer is there are 146 seats in parliament. 146 seats that end in the parliament. And out of these 146 seats, 14, I repeat, 14 of them, the paramount chiefs them from each of the 14 districts in Sierra Leone. So each district, the paramount chiefs them, they choose amongst themselves and send one person to the parliament for represent the paramount chiefs of that district there. Then, the balance 132 members of parliament, then why are not the one them way we, the citizens them, they elect them by constituencies. So we get 132 constituencies in Sierra Leone. The people them are they take me time this morning because this is not a very critical issue. We don't cause so much bloodshed overnight that we not need for understand them. So they will know how we they tackle them and how we they solve them as a nation. So you get 132 ordinary members of parliament plus 14 paramount chiefs members of parliament. They give we a grand total of 146 members of Parliament. Now, as I'm going to explain to you just now, we need 50% plus one of the members of Parliament then they for vote, for support, any law, so that the law they pass. Waiting na 50% of the current members of Parliament. 50% na 73 members of Parliament. 73 members of Parliament na in a 50%, then in a half of the Parliament. 73. So, if you want to pass any law na Parliament, and everybody wait for the inside parliament, then sit on that parliament day, that day, day. It means to say, you need 73 plus 1. We na 74 members of parliament. So if, for example, the government want for pass a bill in a parliament for boundary delimitation, for example, or the government want to pass a bill in a parliament for something for do with the 2023 elections. Or the government want to pass a bill in a parliament where na something way na to the interest of the government and maybe other people them not to their own interest. All what the government need na 74 members of parliament. If the government get 
74 members of parliament for votes, for support, any new law, then that law they, they pass. I repeat, the number is 74. So now, let like can now and explain to Ona another thing we people then the mistake. We now in the fuel, now in the inside a lot of this violence at this moment, especially inside Sambaya Bendugu overnight to this morning. Now the time when they call majority. This I want to take me time and explain unto Una today. Current parliament in Sierra Leone. No member of parliament. I mean, sorry, no political party. Even the time where APC mean get sixty-eight members of parliament. Even when women get 68 members of parliament, APC no get right for use the term majority. Because waiting na majority for somebody or a political party for call themselves the majority in a parliament or for say the leader na the majority leader, that party they forget at least 50% plus one of the numbers of parliament, members of parliament. So in other words, currently, for any party, for say they are the majority in a parliament, they forget at least 74 members of parliament. That is 50% plus one. Since no political party, even after the elections last year, since no political party, not even get 70 members of parliament, Seth, because APC women get the highest number of members of parliament, APC now only 68 members of parliament women get. Because me na APC, so when I talk, I talk about my party. So APC me only get 68 members of parliament. So APC not get right for calling themselves the majority party in the parliament. Waiting them in get right for calling themselves, now that they get the highest number of seats of all members of parliament, the highest number of seats. But they are not the majority. Because for use the term majority, it means to say you they control 50% plus one, at least 50% plus one. Then you they control waiting and call a simple majority. Other than that, you know to majority, you are just the highest occupier of the highest number of seats why am i explaining this because people then they're under the impression that if apc get the highest number of seats in a parliament it means it automatically then they will control parliament as of now no Elect APC get up to 70, 71, 72, 73 members of parliament. They cannot call themselves in that parliament as the majority in parliament. They are just the holder of the highest number of seats. Now, where are we currently in our parliament in terms of the numbers? Make a take me time, explain to Ona. When the elections been done, last year, I mean, sorry, 2018, the APC may get 68 members of parliament. The SLPP may get 49 members of parliament. That's not out of the ordinary seats, not to the paramount chief seats, though, the ordinary seats. The APC may get 68 members of parliament. The SLPP mean get 49 members of parliament. The C4C mean get eight members of parliament and the NGC mean get four members of parliament. Then we mean get three people them. We then contest as independents from Pujaun and two from Kailaun. These are SLPP supporters 
from SIPP strongholds, we decide for contest as independent candidates. So there are three of them. When you add up all that number, they, they get 132 members of parliament. So SIPP using the same strategy. You know, remember, I may not tell you that SIPP for good court for pull somebody in and sit. They're very good at that. Now remember I tell you how SIPP go court for pull Shaka Stevens as mayor of Freetown and replace him with Constance Cummings John. SIPP is very good at that for use the court system. So what did SIPP do? They use the court system and they overcome the APC because the APC leadership, they're under blackmail. So the APC leadership not able to put up a robust de uh, uh, defense of we sit in a parliament. So SIPP go to court and then pull with members of parliament. We make we end up from 68 members of parliament. We end up they get only 58 members of parliament. Then go through the, the court petition process and we lost 10 seats. 10 seats across Sierra Leone, but most of them from the western area. We lost one up in Falaba, then Dubai, then repeat the by elections and we lost the seat. Then we lost na Freetown, Nayaso, another nine members of parliament. Some of them then pulled them and then replaced them with SIPP automatically. The second place SIPP candidate. One more with them, one pool. Then they will all, <laughs> when I all see how we tie with Lapa for fight very, very strongly for make sure see SIPP not win that seat that in a constituency 110 na Godrich. So, SIPP and Shonao, APC lost 10 seats through the court system. So APC drastically caught from 58 members, from sorry, from 68 members of parliament, then drastically caught down to 58 members of parliament. And then SIPP now get that 10 we then now occupy by SIPP members of parliament. So SIPP automatically go up from 49 members of parliament, then go right up to 59 members of parliament. Then APC drop to 58 members of parliament. Now, if I don't reach this side, I want to go to, for telling about one spectacular mortal man. Now, a phenomenal, now an amazing, now a strong politician, we then they call Honorable Musa Jalo. The nickname for him, then they call him Musa Bendugu. You might not like Musa Bendugu, but one thing you know will ever take away from him, that, that he's a strong politician. So Musa Bendugu, he do an amazing feat in 2018. Musa Bendugu, able for convert a part of Tonkolili, within they call Sambaya chiefdom, he able convert that part day thoroughly from APC for become an SLPP stronghold. And so when he converts Sambaya Bendugu, Sambaya chiefdom, when Musa Bendugu converts Sambaya chiefdom for become an SAPP supporting stronghold, and he do this the term where APC day na power. That's a strong politician. You like him, you don't like him, he's a strong politician. For make you able for pull APC inside Tonko Lili district. The term way APC de na power. So Musa Bendugu, he able convince in people them from Sambaya chiefdom, say make them all vote for Mada Bio and let them vote for SLPP and let them vote for Musa Bendugu in CSF for make it become the elected member of parliament for that area day. This was in 2018. Now, that constituency day, he made up of three separate parts. The one part, now there I don't tell you now, so Sambaya Chiefdom, Usai Musa Bendugu come out. 
the capital of that Sambaya chiefdom, the headquarters I then called Bendugu town. The second part, now Dansogoya, the upper part of Dansogoya. Dansogoya, now they, that's how we call Bumbuna. And that's how we, we get that iron ore. That chiefdom, they very, very rich in iron ore. And I did the Bumbuna power, the electricity power from Bumbuna. Now from there, he placed, now the key place that one day. So the upper part of Dangusoya, Dansogoya, now part of constituency 56. Then they get one other chiefdom, we then call Kalantuba. Kalantuba chiefdom. In safe, now part of constituency 56. So then three parts there and they make up constituency 56. Now, Dan Sogoya, na APC. The people that we did it. The vast majority na APC people then. Yes, you get SIPP people then they, but the vast majority na APC people then they. Kalantuba, APC people then are the majority they back. But Sambaya, Usai Musa Bendugo come out. Na de, na SLPP stronghold right now. And Musa Bendugo win the elections in 2018 by a slim margin, small margin, not a boku 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 votes they take win. That in strength, na Sambaya, Sambaya chiefdom, na he use for overcome Kalantuba and overcome the numbers with APC get na Kalantuba and overcome the numbers with APC get na upper than Sogoya. So, Musa Bendugu emerged as the SLPP member of parliament, elected, duly elected, no, no question on the part in elections. Now, he win the election clean for SLPP inside Tonkolili. Now, Musa Bendugu decide when he did a parliament, he decided now say he want be paramount chief. That's Sambaya chief though. So he go contest. For cut a long story short, today now he na the paramount chief. He's now the honorable paramount chief for that chief them day. But the law say you can't be paramount chief and you still continue for represent the constituency level. If you na paramount chief na parliament, now you come in paramount chief then for elect you for goody. And Tonkolili, the paramount chief then at Tonkolili, they don't already elect their own paramount chief we did it now. Paramount chief Baiku Sanagbo. I hope I pronounce the name correct. If not, I'm a big boy that you will forgive me. <laughs> so, Musa Bendugu get for left parliament and in seat become vacant, constituency 56. So inside this month, June 25 this month, Saturday, With the conduct elections for replace Musa Bendugo in the parliament. Now, I don't tell you that say that area they may used for be represented by an APC member of parliament. But now, when APC then a power, now Musa Bendugo turn that particular Sambaya chief from the for become so SLPP, the people that were inside the way they vote for SLPP, then so boku that they overcome the numbers where they vote for APC from Kalantuba and from Dan Sogoya. So Musa became elected as member of parliament in 2018. But now the seat don't vacant. And now where the seat don't vacant, SLPP immediately now the number reduced from 59 members of parliament it can down to 58 members of parliament. So now APC and SLPP, they all to get 58, 58 members of parliament. When I remember I'm in tell when I say, SLPP go to court, then pull 10 of members of parliament, then take them 10 then they, so then add, then 49 became 59. Then we own 68, it go down to 58. So now, when Musa Bendugu don't go to paramount chief, when the seat don't become vacant, 
SLPP don't lost the one seat. So SLPP now in a parliament, then get 58 members of parliament. APC self get 58 members of parliament. So then they equal number of seats right now. But neither the APC nor the SLPP can never get the majority of seats in parliament. This is critical with them for no. Elect APC win the seats na Tongolili. Where then they fight and kill we people, chuk chuk with people them. Where then they terrorize with women them for. Where then they terrorize with picking them for. Elect self APC win that seat day. APC still cannot call themselves the majority. They will only get the highest number of seats. Same way to the SLPP. This seat where then they fight for. We make them they chuk chuk with people them. We make them they damage with young man them. We make with woman them this morning. Then they a bush. Me company woman them. Then they a bush this morning. For sake of that one green seat day. We pick in them. They not go, they not able to go to school today. They don't terrorize them. They don't watch when they chuk them papa them. They don't watch your mama them. They don't run go na bush with them. For sake of that one green seat day in a parliament. Even if SLPP win that seat day. Then still not go call themselves majority. Because you can only be called majority if you get 74 members of parliament. SLPP, if we like on a winter city, now 59 members of parliament on a go still get. Why would they do this? Same question to the APC. Why would they do this to women, to we children, to we young people them? For sake of one green seat in the parliament. Look the kind of blood we don't shed overnight. For sake of that one green seat, because now then they 58, 58. Each group, APC one for turn 59, SLPP one for turn 59, so that they can talk, say, that they get the highest number of seats in the parliament. Ego. That's just ego. Because even if we get the highest number of seats in the parliament, even SLPP, even if we win the elections, on a get 59 seats. On a still not get 74 seats. So you still are not controlling the majority of parliament. Why are you doing this? The same question to the APC. Why are you doing this? Look at the bloodshed. I don't watch video. I've, I, I'm so disheartened. Look at how people have been stabbed last night. For sake of one green seat in the parliament. Me people then the situation now na Sambaya Bendugo because na dey the be na dey the na dey the controversy be and what thing they cause this controversy I don't tell you I say Musa Bendugo you like him or you not like him or he's a great politician and people them is able convincing people them however a lot of people then now inside Sambaya Bendugo. Not to like it before. I go say they don't see the light. The way where they mean they hope and believe, say SLPP, they can't change their life. They don't see them. Past this BNTM way, we see President, His Excellency the President, the leader of the SLPP, he go to that area there and he go do some wonderful thing. He make them give money from the mining company we did it right now they give huge sums of money i think billions over five point something billion but the kind of way where the people them women vote for slpp na sambaya the kind of hopes that we them get they're not the same and so there is now a trend for some of the people they not all but some of the people they're not sambaya chiefdom they move back towards the APC. Say, oh, I would be in say, but we'll not see better. Who. So I think say, this trip will go vote APC. So now that transformation, who say some of the people that women vote for SLPP, for Musa Bendugo, some of them people they are now, especially from the Kolio Jalo family. This is a family way. I can always make what you call a disclaimer. For talking clearly, see, this is a family we are close to. Me personally, are very close to the Kolio Jalo family. So whatever they talk, I can want make people that know, say, 
I get a bias because I like the Kolyo Jalo family. They don't show me so much respect. They don't show me so much love, so much affection that I get a lot of respect for the Kolyo Jalo family. This is not the family of the late Paramount Chief the Huawei Dai, we Musa Ben Dugu don't can replace. Now, that family day, the vast majority of that family, very influential. Now, somebody a chiefdom. Then, late papa in, in chiefdom. So, that family day, them feel offended that they're not able to retain the paramount chieftaincy. Rather, Musa Ben Dugu, we na then distant relative, then get away, then can explain about them. Now, you don't be paramount chief. So that family, they don't mobilize. The one that self went to politician, they don't mobilize against the SLPP. The one that self went not to politician, we not me mix pan politics. They don't mobilize now, see, SLPP not for win that seat today. So that is the cause of the tension. People then first away, not me interested in politics. They may just relax. They don't grab now, see, SLPP not for win this seat now, yeah. Because they feel bad that Musa Bendugu don't become paramount chief for replace them, Papa. So a lot of them, who are not a politician, say, who are not just ordinary first thing to tell me, just be a nurse or just be a CHO, because I'm a big family, I'm a very big and powerful family, the Kolio Jalo family, very big. Then history, and get history we trace backwards, then can tell you the history backwards up to 200 years. A fantastic family. So that is the cause of the tension. That family day don't mobilize for support the APC. Or the vast majority of that family, then don't mobilize for support the APC. Uda no me mix pan politics if now don't come on board. So that's don't create tension now. And Musa Bendugu, as great a politician as he is, himself don't begin to say the SLPP might lose the seat. That that get the tension. So how this problem start yesterday? I don't talk to both SLPP and to APC within at the ground na Sambaya Bendugu, and me na APC, but I dey give an objective report of waiting na me findings based on me conversations, based on the videos then I don't watch, based on the photographs then I don't see. I dey can explain to you now. Yesterday, I mean the day for the APC for campaign inside constituency 056. So the candidate with the contest for the APC mobilize in APC people them, then the campaign and then campaign inside Sambaya, inside Bendugu town and across the chiefdom. In the process within the campaign, the SLPP the one they were talked to on the ground, they alleged to me say, the APC count with thugs. And so then they allege that the APC count with thugs them from other side, where not to Bendugu, Sambaya, indigenous them. Then they allege say the APC count with stranger them, we come inside and the stranger them mean they intimidate the SL people, the SLPP people them where they meet that the tongue. That's so then they allege. The APC then what I talk to, then the alleged say, nothing like that not be. Then say, now the massive crowd where then see behind the APC candidate, plus the open declaration of the majority of the Kulio Jalo clan yesterday for the APC, now in torment the SLPP, when the SLPP attack the APC them yesterday, when an APC day on day for campaign. Whatever not the truth, the police supposed for investigate and figure them out. But these are the two sides of the story. And prior to this time, a lot of complaints don't they come that the Paramount Chief Musa Bendugu in people them, they intimidate the APC people them inside Sambaya Bendugu to the extent some of them they even attack and wound APC supporters. Evidence of that exists. Photos they exist, pictures exist, video evidence exists of APC people being attacked and wounded by persons alleged 
for be supporters of the SIPP prior to yesterday. So yesterday now, now the worst violence now happen. I don't talk to a lot of older people them inside the tongue overnight up to this morning. Up to this morning, say I don't call a few of them. They don't tell me, say, from where they born. They no one day see blood flow inside Bendugu. Like I flow so between yesterday night to this morning. They say they no one day see this kind of violence. So bottom line, violence happened yesterday between SIPP and APC. The two sides, they accuse themselves. Now, after the violence all happened, remember yesterday was APC's day. Violence happened. Woman then run come out of the tongue, picking and run come out of the tongue. Young man and then chuk chuk them. I mean, it's just horrible. If you see blood, if you see blood, it's just horrible. Inside this modern day and age, such violence. Now, the policeman them, women then are the gun. They're not able to handle the situation. So they may get for call for reinforcement. The reinforcement policeman and self we can then self not able to handle the situation. Pass with soldier man then come na net. So soldier man they don't come inside the tongue now. Policeman they don't come inside the tongue now. Now, today now, now SLPP they on day for campaign inside Sambaya Bendugo. So SIPP don't start the campaign this morning. But how they start them? Most unfortunate for make a report to I say, the former court chairman, that that chief them, Grandma Sako in house, they don't burn them. They don't go set fire upon them. This morning, as I talk to them, so they don't set fire upon the house. So now, now, asking, violence, terrorism, burning of houses, terrorizing women, terrorizing children, Stabbing of youths. Now they happen now inside Sambaya Bendu. Why? Because of one grain seat. One grain elections. One grain parliamentary seat for electing member of parliament. Now they make then the bond house. Chook people. Chook young man. Terrorize women. Terrorize children. The whole night up to this morning, and this morning they don't start back. They don't burn house. Now then they go. It's an all-out war. And the, the unfortunate aspect is the soldiers and the police are present inside the town as they talk to on a soul this morning. The soldiers and the police are inside Sambaya chiefdom. Terrorism they happen under their nose. Then they burn house. Then they brutalize people them. I am APC, but I know they take APC side on this issue. I just they call on the nation. And they call on Sierra Leoneans. They say, Lord, we all put the eye on these elections. The international community, like how they may do for constituency 110 and other controversial elections, they need more attention for be paid inside Sambaya Bendugo. Because if we allow this violence for, for happen, whether not APC, whether not SLPP, I am deliberately not taking sides. I they try to be objective inside this audio. Regardless of who is at fault, the violence is unacceptable. The violence of last night to this morning, it is unacceptable. We are finally bring me now to the issue of parliament. People then they rush, they want to go parliament. But What's not the job of a member of parliament? Has this parliament been effective enough? Or, as we don't hear it now, this is a parliament where the members of parliament, then they go there for go make money for themselves, their wives, their children, take care of their health. And if that is the situation where members of parliament not they go for serve, members of parliament not they go for be selfless servants of the people, but members of parliament, they go for become rich, for make their wives and their children. They all cut upon the national cake. They all get their own cut. They all chop. Then say forget money. After all, this they get money. Then they get money. So me say forget money. So then I make a one go parliament. Let me say go get money. But now that parliament they about? No. As a nation, we get for reorientate. We mind say 
parliament na side where they go for go be a selfless servant of the people. This is not the time where I want Sierra Leoneans they make we begin reflect in our minds. Them people are within our current parliament. They don't serve we well. Me not believe say they don't serve we well. And now they don't come up with this them proposal with them call parliamentary welfare bill. Where they want to pass act for increase their money, they increase their benefits them massively. I think it is unfair. And all of this will happen as somebody been to go overnight to this morning. That because there is one person who wants to go to parliament and then instead begin eat pan the national cake. Because that's more than they do, then they eat pan the national cake. Because the other things, them, the outrageous things the way they happen at this country, the type of things the way they happen at this country, where this parliament, they keep silent. Silent, like they don't know their job. At the call on Sierra Leoneans, they all begin to reflect in our minds about what we want in the next set of members of parliament. Do we want this same lot? Do we want these people where then don't so make the parliament to be a side where person they go eat money rather than a side where person they go serve? Because if not serve, they go serve. You know, they be so violent, forget to that city. Because not service, a selfless service you they go give. Sierra Leoneans, the ball they now we caught. Now we for make sure that the next set of members of parliament, what will they choose? Now the one that way they go serve with selflessly. So much so that nobody in the future not will feel safe for going to parliament, now for go eat money, become rich, and so you're ready for stab, chook, burn us, destroy lives, destroy properties, like a waiting to happen overnight. And they continue for happen up to this morning under the nose of the soldiers and the police. I am very disheartened that for that made this particular broadcast I dedicate on this morning to waiting the unfold that constituency 056. SLPP wants the seat because they want to become 59 members of parliament. APC wants the seat because they want to become 59 members of parliament. But even if they become 59 members of parliament, they are still not the majority because they still do not have more than 50% of the elected seats in parliament. They can only be called majority if they get 74 seats. But look at what these people are doing. Just forget one more seat and egoistically, because not just their ego, these are just their ego. They win the seat now, ego. Say, oh, that we get the highest number. But you don't have the majority. You have the highest number, but you are still not the majority. So for God's sake, we're not sorry for our people them. We're not sorry for we woman them. We're not sorry for picking them. We're not sorry for we youth man them. On that note today, I go end tonight, this morning's broadcast. As I can always do. I'm so emotional right now. May God bless we all. Amen. <laughs>